Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom mug Deathstroke and I actually just finished this today and I really wanted to upload it so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to break it apart first so you can see all the pieces you're going to need. Uh, one second. Okay, let's start off with the head. So, what I started with the head was I actually used an Iron Man helmet and then I painted it half black. Well, I didn't paint it, I actually used Sharpie and it did actually turn out pretty good. And the other side was red, I put a little black there too so it made it look a little more realistic. And I also made it white there because um, Sorry. Sorry about that. In actually in Arkham Origins, the eye, um, his left eye is actually white with a little pupil there. So I added that with like thin Sharpie. Okay. Next for the head is, um, it's Slade Wilson's head. I, I actually did two sides, like this one was a bit like an angry side so I put the eye patch and then painted a little beard well used sharpie I, I this whole thing actually I used sharpie with and then the other side is kinda like natural okay let's get on with the body so the body I actually just used a regular clone trooper that's why it's a little white here and I actually sharpened sharpied it a little like red and black a little bit of patterns around it and made it like I, it, I didn't do it in a really specific order but I kind of made it kind of patterny so the right hand has like red and um, the left arm actually has a bit of um, I white I put white out there and then I sharpied it over it so I think that actually turned out pretty good okay uh, next let's move on with the legs so the legs was actually pretty, the easiest part, I think. I just took black legs and I put like a little, like a little strap on his, on his um, left leg. And since Legos, they don't really come with boot decals. So I actually just um, put white out on like his whole like foot and then I covered it in red Sharpie and that turned out pretty good. Okay, next let's move on to the sword holder. Um, I actually used a Lego um, Ninjoid uh, from like the new Ninjago sets. I actually don't have many of those anymore, but I found this and I think it turned out really good because it also has like black shoulder pads, with, which actually turned out really good with his body appearance. Um, I painted the whole thing, I sharpied the whole thing black because the front, it had a bit of like, um, like red and blue, so I had to cover it with Sharpie. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, let's move on to the weapons. So I actually used this, um, pistol from Lone Ranger Lego sets, which is... Um, I'm pretty sure it's a retired set, so they don't really sell them anymore, unless you find them on eBay or Amazon or something, or like the Toys R Us .com or Lego Shop. And yeah, his next, his next weapon is just a black sword. I actually sharpened it black because I couldn't find a black katana like this, so that's why the, so that's why it's a little like, like um weathered. Like I made it look a little weathered, so it's not completely sharpied black. And the hilt actually has red and black patterns, so it looked a little cool. And um, this part where he holds the sword, I didn't actually put anything, but I can't really focus the camera on it. But if you look really closely, I did thin sharpies on the little like rims of it and on the back over there. 
Okay, next and the last weapon is his staff. So it's really easy. All you need is a lightsaber hilt, which you can get from pretty much any Star Wars Lego set. And just um, sharpie the ends black on both of them. And then all you need is a flick fire missile. And you can actually, you can put some sharpie on the tip of it. So, And then what you want to do is turn this around like this and attach the end of the flick fire missile into it and then you create the staff which actually looks really cool okay now when you put it all together I'll put it all together right now and you can actually switch the weapons if you want like you don't always have to make him have the sword on his back. You can, like, switch the staff up. Um, I'm not really doing, like, the comic book version. Or if you've seen in Injustice, they have the game. They have um, different versions of him. And this one is the Arkham Origin version. I'm not trying to take on the comic book version. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye. And I'm probably going to be doing some more custom-made Legos like this. I've been working on Nightwing, um, New 52 Nightwing, and that might be coming soon. So, yeah, bye.